Hi, welcome to Board Briefing. This is Henry Chamberlain. Hope your summer has gone well. I'm going to make this a fairly easy board briefing because I've got one assignment for you and then a couple of things I'd like you to think about reading. But Seven Measures of Success. Many of you remember ASA Kent with this book three years ago. It's a great management tool. In fact, for you as boards, there are seven modules in there that you could discuss and talk about as uh, one of your meetings coming up anytime. Their plug and play, and it talks about great associations and what they do to be great. Seven different things customer, service, culture, how do you deliver on that? Aligning your products and services from your budget, how do you do that? Dialogue and engagement with your members, what do people want to have from you? The CEO, your BAE, in terms of being the facilitator of discussions on what the association should be doing. Organizational adaptability, are you good at turning on a dime when things change in the marketplace? alliance building. You know, one of our endearing qualities as BOMA is we like to partner, but we like to partner with people that bring equal value to the table. All six of those are great discussions to have at a board as you're planning future things. But the seventh goal area is data-driven strategies. How do you take a look at your market? Do you survey on an annual basis? More and more of you are doing Zoomerang surveys or using SurveyMonkey and just asking the basic questions. What do you think of the programs and services we're offering? What kind of quality do they deliver? Are we matching your needs? And then some open-ended questions about what are the things we could be doing for you in 2012 and off into the future that would really create value. So they're asking, how are we doing? They're asking, how are you responding to the things that we're doing? And they're asking those questions. So what I'd like you to do is basically an audit because your members, you know, the folks around your table right now, most of you are well in your budget planning process. That's been moved up. So as you're looking at next year and the economy looks like it's going to be about the same, so not a lot of new revenues, I want you, if you're not doing an annual survey, to think about how you would like to take on a Zoomerang survey, use SurveyMonkey, whatever it is. And we've got lots of templates, but do an overall member product and service survey. As part of that, you've got monthly luncheons coming up. You can do informal forms, three to five questions. How'd you like the program? How'd you like the speaker? How you like the logistics, how we're creating that experience at our monthly luncheon, um, and then also ask questions about speakers in the future. But use your major meeting opportunities to ask three, five, six questions, and then data mine that information. So some folks on your board have got to do that for you, or you've got to have a committee. Most of you don't have research committees, so the executive committee is a logical place to concentrate that discussion. The other one is think about doing a focus group. A uh, few of you are doing it, and I think it's a growing population, but think about doing a focus group as you're talking about, well, we're going to create careers in real estate, we're going to work with the millennials. Ask the millennials what they think about that, get a focus group together. So think about focus groups. So research, I would like you as a board to think about an audit. What are you doing in research now? Two great books out there I'd like to highlight. Um, George Friedman, he did The Next 100 Years, which is a great book. Now he's got The Next Decade, which really focuses on current politics, current business, Stratfor.com, S-T-R-A-T-F-O-R.com, great information there. And a hot new author on the management side, Peter Sheehan, his new book, of course, Making It Happen, he also did Flip, trying to get a high performance business plan together, working with a variety of communities. Peter Sheehan, great stuff. Thank you.